Hey you guys. Um, today is Friday. Today's Thursday. And I was getting ready. I figured that I would. Take three! Oh my god. Okay, back to what I was saying. I will be filming my get ready with me. Not going anywhere. Just want to be cute. Okay, first I will be starting off with the primer. I have my makeup in a plastic bag because I travel to Florida. Alright, I am going to start with my primer, and this is, um, I believe, Angel Veal by NYX. And, you know, I just use primer because it helps my foundation stick in any makeup that I have. It will stick very good, and it gives it a very flawless finish, especially in the summertime. And... Yep, yeah, that's the watermelon candies. You guys, if you haven't had these watermelon candies, please try it. They are the best. Next, I will be applying my foundation. This is L'Oreal Paris True Match in the shade Cappuccino. And I will um, proceed by putting a little, little bit on the back of my hand. And then using my, I forgot what brush this is called, but I used the brush and in a light dabbing motion i just put it all over my face and a little bit on my neck just to blend it thoroughly thank god this is my shade because i used to have to mix two foundations which was very very expensive <laughs> so i'll just dab that and you know in a light motion and again <laughs> now i'm gonna start with my eyebrows using my nyx pencil with a little brush on the end I would brush up my hairs and then fill in. Note, I said fill in and not draw. I'm just filling in, you know, like where hairs would look like they would be instead of, you know, doing the whole boxy cut. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about. We used to do this in middle school. Oh, maybe not middle school, high school. You know, go to school, you know, with the boxy cut looking like Spongebob. Oh, I don't even know if Spongebob has eyebrows. Okay, never mind. But we look like a cartoon character. But yes, this is what I do. And then, you know, once I fill in with the hairs, I brush a little bit. Now it's time to conceal. And I'm using the Master Conceal. And um, with that, I just take my finger. I feel like it works very good like that. Take my finger and dab it under the places where I want to be concealed, which is under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, the middle of my um, forehead, and my chin. And um, this is actually better than using a makeup brush to what I find. I don't know. It just works better for me. So yeah, while that's working, then I'm going to go ahead and take... Um, another type of concealer. I think this one is LA Girl. I should show it, but if not, then whatever. It's LA Girl, and I just do it under my brows. Oh, me with this watermelon candy. Okay, now I'm going to use my stippling brush to go in with my banana powder by Bed Nye. And um, dab it a little bit, and then brush out my highlight. You can see I'm going in an outward motion. I don't use a circular um, motion going um, inwards on my face because you want it to look blended and natural. If you do it like in a circular inward motion, it's just going to look very cakey and you're not going to be happy with your finished result. And once I just do that, I'm just going to keep on, you know, trying to blend it out because this needs to be blended out oh slay 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 <laughs> uh, 
the face. <laughs> Next, I'm going to brush my eyebrows again with the little stippling brush, I think. And as you can see, I still have the little highlighter under my brows. I haven't gotten to that yet. But now I'm going to move on to my contour. And this is LA Girl as well. I think the color is Mocha. And I'm just going to go in with the outer parts of my face. Also underneath my highlight and just brush it in, brush it in. Outwards as well. Always, always outwards. Always, always outwards. And keep brushing that in. Make sure it's blended. Also with the wig, I need to make sure all, like everything is just natural, like natural finish. And now I'm actually doing my brows. It's like, I love my eyebrows like this. I don't like the whole dark brown, dark black eyebrows. I love the natural look. <coughs> and now I will um, base my eyelashes with mascara because I will be using eyelashes in this look. I usually don't, but I was feeling good today. So I'll continue to um, do the top and bottom of my eyelashes. Okay, now this is my favorite part. Now, I know I'm shooting a, you know, get ready with me. And it was gonna be a chit chat, get ready with me, but my boyfriend is in the other room watching either Criminal Minds or I don't know, one of those shows. This is my favorite part. I love applying eyelashes. Now, being as I am a mom, doing this every day is nearly 0.1%. <laughs> um, for my actual morning routines, I do apply eyelashes. And if I'm feeling really good, I'll do eyelashes and brows and not the whole foundation look. The foundation look is just, you know, I got my little baby right here on this play mat and I'm just... I'm just doing it but these I got from wish.com and they were like so they have certain deals like that which you should check out and yeah so I, it came in like two two packs I think I'm not sure but I love them they're like so natural and then um after I'm gonna get into like my all-time like favorite pair of lashes I will only wear those like if it's real deal like date night running some errands and i do a makeup look but like those are the best lashes ever like mink lashes i'm telling you so let's start with this and i don't have to cut it at all all right before i get back into the video i just wanted to mention these were the minks that i was um talking about they are designed by my best friend Lizanne Hunter and these are the minks in sapphire my favorite I'm gonna put all of the um you know everything you need to know about them in my description and where you can purchase them I love them so much and she always has amazing deals you know things like that so just check them out take a tweezers go like this and it goes on the eye now, I know they have, um, like, duo glues for eyelashes, but I had a bad experience with those. Um, it actually, like, I like, I'm the type of person, like, I don't want to put on my strip and wear it for, like, two, three days. No, I have to take it off every night. Plus, I like to wash my face a lot. So you just got to make sure it's tacky and because it, it, it gets like this. Just go like this. I'm actually gonna move you guys so I can do this the right way. Um, this is how they are. I just love them. They're not make, of course. They're coming from Wash a dollar for shipping. They're obviously the false eyelashes. Move you guys back. I am going to try. This Milani Baked Blush. So cute. I actually got it from my mom. And this is in Rose D'Oro. When I tried it, when I visited her, I was like, Mom. Can you girl again? She's like, yeah, you can have it. My mom's not a big makeup person either. You know, she's got the natural beauty. And then she just goes, don't got time for all of this beat. 
you know? So yeah, just take it with a little brush and... Oh my God. No, yeah, I don't see this. I'm sorry. finished look I gotta go now you know mommy duties is calling <laughs> this is my beautiful baby boy uh, people hate when I call him beautiful. Well, my handsome baby boy, um, Haim, and he's right here talking with me as I do this voiceover. Um, he was five. Oh my god, he was five months in this video. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one. <laughs>